Fire Alarm Fire alarm systems are designed to alert us to an emergency so that we can take action to protect ourselves, staff, and the general public. Fire alarms are found in offices, factories, and public buildings. They are a part of our everyday routine, but are often overlooked until there is an emergency. Whatever the method of detection is, if the alarm is triggered, then sounders can warn the peoples in the building that there may be a fire and we should evacuate. In this video, we will learn how to make a fire alarm with the help of some electronic components like transistor, photodiode, buzzer, etc. These are the components which are needed in this project. 1. NPN Transistor BC547 1 kilo ohm resistor 1 10 kilo ohm resistor 1 red LED 1 photodiode 1 buzzer 9 volt battery PP3 battery connector on off rocker switch 1 0 PCB 4 screw with nuts and 4 plastic spacers before making the project we will understand its circuit diagram this is a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit this is an on off switch which is used to start or stop the project this is a power supply indication led this is a current limiting resistor to protect the led from high current and voltage this is the symbol of a photodiode this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor used to give ground signal to the transistor this is the symbol of a buzzer, it will beep when fire is detected. Fire and sunlight have three types of rays, infrared, visible and ultraviolet. In the presence of fire, photodiode will receive the infrared rays. When infrared rays will fall on the photodiode, then photodiode will turn on and give a high signal to the base of the transistor. When transistor will get a high signal on its base, then it will turn on and allow the current to pass through it. Positive terminal of buzzer is connected with the positive terminal of power supply. When transistor will turn on, then buzzer will get the ground signal on its negative terminal and give a beep. When there is no fire, then no infrared rays will fall on the photodiode and transistor will turn off and buzzer be kept silent. These are the components which we will use to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base and for that, we will take a zero PCB and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. To protect the LED from high voltage and current, we will use a 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. We will solder a power indication LED on the PCB.
Now we will solder this photo diode. When mounting the photo diode, then make sure that flat side of the photo diode is connected to the positive terminal of power supply. There is no polarity in the resistor, so we can apply it from either side. This is a buzzer. Buzzer has two terminals, positive and negative. It has a sign of plus on its top. It shows that this side is positive and the other side is negative. One more way to determine the positive and negative pin in the buzzer is that positive side always has the longer pin and the negative side has the smaller pin. Connect the negative terminal with the transistor and positive terminal with the positive voltage. Now we will solder the transistor. This is NP transistor and BC547 is its model number. It has three pins. Pin 1 is called collector. 2 is called base, and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will connect the battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive and black wire is for negative. Our circuit is now ready. Now we will give power to this circuit and test our project. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.